Elon Musk is only in his 40s and already he's the 40th richest person in the world, according to Forbes magazine, amassing a personal fortune of $22.3 billion. And he's done it through a combination of pure computer genius and business smarts, while taking plenty of risks with ventures like Tesla and SpaceX. Some of those risks still aren't profitable, and he's losing money on them as we speak. Be sure to watch until the end because we're investigating how much money Elon Musk is losing every second. Before you start checking your own finances, make sure to like this video, subscribe to The Richest, and join our notification squad. Now let's go over the books to calculate how much money Elon Musk is losing every second. Elon Musk is best known for owning and operating two major companies. First, there's his high-profile aerospace agency, SpaceX, and then there's Tesla, the electric car company he took over from its original owners when he joined the board in 2004. Since the start, SpaceX has been a company flying its craft into orbit by the seat of its pants. Back in June 2015, the New York Times reported an exploding rocket resulted in delays of further launches and a financial loss of $250 million that year. Additional incidents in 2016 and 2017, as well as a near disaster earlier in 2019, further impaired SpaceX's revenue potential. Currently, SpaceX is worth $28 billion, with revenues in 2018 totaling around $2.2 billion. Musk has repeatedly said that SpaceX wouldn't show a profit for 15 years after the venture started. That timeline would have ended in 2017. In the meantime, the eccentric entrepreneur now sits on a loss of $250 million. So what about Elon Musk's most famous business, Tesla? The company's electric cars are doing well, with more than $17 billion of vehicles leaving showroom floors in 2018. But the company experienced massive delays when trying to get its mid-sized Tesla 3 sedan onto the market. While the Tesla 3 was originally hailed as the first affordable electric car to hit the market, with a sticker price of $35,000, most of the cars were actually priced at $45,000 to recover some of those factory costs. Tesla also had to pay higher import duties to China, a huge market for the company. But the biggest drain on Tesla was the performance of Solar City, now part of the car company's operations rebranded as Tesla Solar. Within the last year, despite a distribution deal with Home Depot, Tesla Solar lost a great deal of market shares to rivals and industry leaders Sun Run. According to some experts, without Tesla Solar, the car company would have made a profit. Instead, the result for Tesla in 2018 was a net loss of $1.06 billion. Maybe some big changes will be happening at Tesla headquarters in 2019. One of Elon Musk's most recent ventures has been The Boring Company, a high-tech firm he started back in 2016. The company calls for state-of-the-art equipment to burrow underground to create tunnels for traffic overflow to cut down on the massive commuter volume at ground level. Late in 2018, Musk showed off the results of a one-mile-long prototype his company drilled beneath the streets of Hawthorne, California. He even used a few Tesla cars to demonstrate how roadworthy they were. The unveiling certainly garnered a great deal of headlines. However, despite a recent contract to drill a tunnel between Chicago's business district and O'Hare Airport, the project has yet to turn a profit. Musk started the company with $112 million in funding with roughly 90% bankrolled by Musk himself. Factoring in his contribution, a company that drills holes has Musk himself in the hole for $100 million. Now let's look at Neuralink, Musk's attempt at entering the world of cybernetics. This might involve products enabling the human brain to hook up with a computer. Musk has always been terrified of artificial intelligence, believing that machines with that type of knowledge would eventually take over the net, a la Terminator. And with Neuralink, which provides connectivity between people and technology, Musk believes humans can still have a leg up on artificial intelligence. Okay, time for some math. The cost of financing was roughly $100.2 million with no profit predicted in the immediate future. While there are no figures to verify how much of his own money Musk contributed, let's be conservative and cut him in for $50.2 million. Now let's add up how much money Musk lost in 2018. SpaceX numbers are fuzzy, but for the sake of break-even with a loan on the table, we can assume Musk is on the hook for $250 million. 
Tesla's total losses, including bad returns from what used to be Solar City, register at $1.06 billion. Then there's his share of the Boring Company at just over $100 million and a conservative estimate of his investment in Neuralink at $50.2 million. The total tally of his losses for 2018 equal roughly to $1.46 billion. Whoa, that means Musk would lose $4 million a day, roughly $167,000 an hour, nearly $2,800 a minute, and $46.30 a second. Elon Musk is losing almost $50 a second. Given his total worth of $22.3 billion, he still has $20.8 billion to play around with. So we guess you could say overall, at least it's not a total loss for Elon Musk. And that's enough cash counting as far as Elon Musk is concerned. Which business venture surprised you the most? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to The Richest.